okay guys in today's video i'll be showing you about the latest new update of the lenovo k phone note in this update we have got the vlde feature in our k phone note this is the s230 build here we can see that we have got the vlde support just let me show you just wait let me zoom it a little bit and you can see that VLTE is written on the top so how did I get this update so to get this update first of all your phone needs to be non-rooted I'll be telling you what to do if your phone is rooted but first we need to check if it's non-rooted or not then we need to go to settings then scroll all the way down to about phone and go to system update here in my case it's showing that my device software is up to date but in your case it will be showing that you need to download the s230 build if you did not get it even now i will be posting a link in the description below on how to manually flash it i've already shown a video on manual flashing and you can simply follow it to manually flash your phone from S219 to S230 build using the stock recovery all you need to do is go download the file rename it to update.zip and flash it to stock recovery through stock recovery in this build you can see that VOLTE support is over here and for example let me just make a call through the geo Bangla chono ek tipun hindi ke liye do dabaye so you can see that VLTE has been installed in our phone to disable the VLTE option all you again need to do is go to settings then go to more go to mobile networks and here you can see that VLTE is present over here now what happens if your phone is rooted if your phone is rooted you need to flash the S219 build in your phone I will be providing an SP tool flashable file in the description below all you need to do is flash it using SP tools I have as usual done this video before on how to flash using SP tools I did it for the S147 build and you can simply follow the steps from there. It is very simple and I will not be showing it again. All you need to do is follow my previous video, the link to which will be given in the description below. But just let me show you. This here is my computer and just this file this is the sp2 flashable file all you need to do is go to mk tool flash tools and double click on it here after you open you just need to select the scatter file which is present in sw target bin the scatter file after that you click on download and connect your phone when it is switched off Please remember to switch off your phone before connecting it. It should get flashed. After that, you need to follow the steps as I have shown before that you need to go to settings and then you need to go to system update and then download it through there. If even then you did not get any update, you can simply download the OTA file from the description below and manually flash it. Do not worry, it is no beta condition, it is the official update and it won't harm your device. After that, there is another method if your phone is rooted. Dark, dark Blood or Dark Droid, I forgot the exact name, had created an backup restore, had created a backup of the S230 build. I will again provide this file the file present over here 
in the description below. All you need to do is download this file and then extract it. This will create this folder and you need to copy this folder into your external pen drive or into your phone. Please wait while I'm copying this pen drive or uh, copying these files in my phone after which I will again come back to the video. Now that we see that the file has been copied what we will do is that we will simply unplug it and then we will keep it in our and we will stick it in our Lenovo K4 note after which we will go to the TWRP recovery. So let's do that first. So you can see that I have attached my pen drive with the Lenovo K4 note and what I will be doing is I will go to the TWRP recovery. So Now that, now that this has gone to the TWRP, we will click on Restore and in Select Storage, we will select the USB OTG partition. Due to some reason, my pen drive is not being detected. Probably because my pen drive has got corrupt or my mic or my OTG cable is not working, but it should be showing your OSB OTG. From that you will select the package to restore and then you will simply swipe to restore it. This should do the trick. I was not able to, I am not able to show you how this is done because either my USB OTG or my pen drive has been corrupted. So I am very sorry for that. If you guys want to root this device, you can root it using the same method as I had shown in the S218 build. The routing method and the routing files are all the same and for that I will be giving the video link in the description below. Just check it out and follow the same instructions. Your Lenovo K4 note will be rooted in the S230 build. That's it for the videos guys. I hope you liked it and if you did Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.